Hello, I'm Jeff. My wife and I host Message of Hope. Message of Hope wants to be your weekly inspirational, motivational, and non-judgmental friend to help you through your week as we share Bible truths and life experiences to let you know you're not alone. Let's join Sandra to see what Message of Hope she has today. Hi, I'm Sandra, your host, and for a total of four weeks, we have been reading through the book of Revelation. This is our fourth and final week. The first three weeks, we read chapters 1 through 17. Today, we are finishing up by reading chapters 18 through 22. I remind you, the book of Revelation starts by promising great blessings to the person who reads the words of this message from God, and also to those who hear this message and do what is written in it. And it warns us there is not much time left. Today, as well as throughout the series, I have not been adding any of my own commentary, as God did not instruct me to, and there is much about the book I've yet to understand. He did instruct that I would be blessed for reading these words and that anyone that hears them and does what is written will also be blessed. So I do this for us both. Let's begin. Revelation 18 Then I saw another angel coming down from heaven. This angel had great power. The angel's glory made the earth bright. The angel shouted with a powerful voice, She is destroyed! The great city of Babylon is destroyed! She has become a home for demons! That city has become a place for every unclean spirit to live! She is a city filled with all kinds of unclean birds! She is a place where every unclean and hated animal lives! All the peoples of the earth have drunk the wine of her sexual sin and of God's anger. The rulers of the earth sinned sexually with her, and the merchants of the world grew rich from the great wealth of her luxury. Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of that city, my people, so that you will not share in her sins. Then you will not suffer any of the terrible punishment that she will get. That city's sins are piled up as high as heaven. God has not forgotten the wrongs that she has done. Give that city the same as she gave to others. Pay her back twice as much as she did. Prepare wine for her that is twice as strong as the wine that she prepared for others. She gave herself much glory and rich living. Give her that much suffering and sadness. She says to herself, I am a queen sitting on my throne. I am not a widow. I will never be sad. So in one day, she will suffer great hunger, mourning, and death. She will be destroyed by fire because the Lord God who judges her is powerful. The rulers of the earth who sinned sexually with her and shared her wealth will see the smoke of her burning. They will cry and be sad because of her death. The rulers will be afraid of her suffering and stand far away. They will say terrible, How terrible! O great city! O powerful city of Babylon! Your punishment came in one hour. And the merchants of the earth will cry and be sad for her. They will be sad because now there is no one to buy the things they sell. The gold, the silver, jewels, pearls, fine linen, purple cloth, silk, and scarlet cloth, all kinds of citron wood, and all kinds of things made from ivory, expensive wood, bronze, iron, and marble. 
They also sell cinnamon, spice, incense, frankincense, myrrh, wine, olive oil, fine flour, wheat, cattle, sheep, horses, carriages, and slaves. Yes, even human lives. The merchants will cry and say, O oh Babylon, the good things you wanted have left you. All your rich and fancy things have disappeared. You will never have them again. The merchants will be afraid of her suffering and will stand far away from her. They are the ones who became rich from selling those things to her. They will cry and be sad. They will say terrible, how terrible, for the great city. She was dressed in fine linen. She wore purple and scarlet cloth. She was shining with gold, jewels, and pearls. All these riches have been destroyed in one hour. Every sea captain, all those who travel on ships, the sailors, and all those who earn money from the sea stood far away from Babylon. They saw the smoke from her burning. They cried out, There was never a city like this great city. They threw dust on their heads and cried loudly to show the deep sorrow they felt. They said terrible, how terrible, for the great city. All those who had ships on the sea became rich because of her wealth, but she has been destroyed in one hour. Be happy because of this, O heaven. Be happy, God's holy people and apostles and prophets. God has punished her because of what she did to you. Then a powerful angel picked up a large rock. This rock was as big as a large millstone. The angel threw the rock into the sea and said, This is how the great city of Babylon will be thrown down. It will never be found again. O oh, Babylon, the music of people playing harps and other instruments, flutes and trumpets, will never be heard in you again. No worker doing any job will ever be found in you again. The sound of a millstone will never be heard in you again. The light of a lamp will never shine in you again. The voices of the bridegroom and bride will never be heard in you again. Your merchants were the world's great people. All the nations were tricked by your magic. You are guilty of the death of the prophets, of God's holy people, and of all those who have been killed on earth. Revelation 19 After this I heard what sounded like a large crowd of people in heaven. The people were saying, Hallelujah! Victory, glory, and power belong to our God. His judgments are true and right. Our God has punished the prostitute. She is the one who ruined the earth with her sexual sin. God has punished the prostitute to pay her back for the death of his servants. These people also said, Hallelujah! She is burning and her smoke will rise forever and ever. Then the twenty-four elders and the four living beings bowed down. They worshipped God, who sits on the throne. They said, Amen! Hallelujah! Then a voice came from the throne and said, Praise our God, all you who serve Him. Praise our God, all you small and great who honor him. Then I heard something that sounded like a large crowd of people. 
It was as loud as crashing waves or claps of thunder. The people were saying, Hallelujah! Our Lord God rules! He is the all-powerful! Let us rejoice and be happy and give God glory! Give God glory! Because the wedding of the Lamb has come and the Lamb's bride has made herself ready. Fine linen was given to the bride for her to wear. The linen was bright and clean. The fine linen means the good things that God's holy people did. Then the angel said to me, Write this, Great blessings belong to those who are invited to the wedding meal of the Lamb. Then the angel said, These are the true words of God. Then I bowed down before the angel's feet to worship him. But the angel said to me, Don't worship me. I am a servant like you and your brothers and sisters who have the truth of Jesus. So worship God, because the truth of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Then I saw heaven open. There before me was a white horse. The rider on the horse was called Faithful and True, because he is right in his judging and in making war. His eyes were like burning fire. He had many crowns on his head. A name was written on him, but he was the only one who knew its meaning. He was dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and he was called the Word of God. The armies of heaven were following the rider on the white horse. They were also riding white horses. They were dressed in fine linen, white and clean. A sharp sword came out of the rider's mouth, a sword that he would use to defeat the nations, and he will rule the nations with a rod of iron. He will crush the grapes in the winepress of the terrible anger of God all-powerful. On his robe and on his leg was written this name, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun. In a loud voice the angel said to all the birds flying in the sky, Come together for the great supper of God. Come together so that you can eat the bodies of rulers and army commanders, and famous men. Come to eat the bodies of the horses and their riders, and the bodies of all people, free, slave, small, and great. Then I saw a beast and the rulers of the earth. Their armies were gathered together to make war against the rider on the horse and his army. But the beast was captured, and the false prophet was also captured. He was the one who did the miracles for the beast. He had used these miracles to trick those who had the mark of the beast and worshipped its idol. The false prophet and the beast were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur. Their armies were killed, and the sword that came out of the mouth of the rider on the horse, all the birds ate these bodies until they were full. Revelation 20 I saw an angel coming down out of heaven. The angel had the key to the bottomless pit. The angel held a large chain in its hand. The angel grabbed the dragon, that old snake, also known as the devil or Satan. The angel tied the dragon with the chain for a thousand years. Then the angel threw the dragon into the bottomless pit and closed it. The angel locked it over the dragon. The angel did this so that the dragon could not trick the people of the earth until the thousand years were ended. After a thousand years, the dragon must be made free for a short time. Then I saw some thrones and people sitting on them. These were the ones who had been given the power to judge. 
and I saw the souls of those who had been killed because they were faithful to the truth of Jesus and the message from God. They did not worship the beast or its idol. They did not receive the mark of the beast on their foreheads or on their hands. They came back to life and ruled with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Great blessings belong to those who share in the first resurrection. They are God's holy people. The second death has no power over them. They will be priests for God and for Christ, and they will rule with him for a thousand years. When the thousand years are ended, Satan will be made free from his prison. He will go out to trick the nations in all the earth the nations known as Gog and Magog, Satan will gather the people for battle. There will be more people than anyone can count, like sand on the seashore. I saw Satan's army march across the earth and gather around the camp of God's people and the city that God loves. But fire came down from heaven and destroyed Satan's army. And he, the one who tricked these people, was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur with the beast and the false prophet. There they would be tortured day and night forever and ever. Then I saw a large white throne. I saw the one who was sitting on the throne. Earth and sky ran away from him and disappeared. And I saw those who had died great and small standing before the throne. Some books were opened, and another book was opened, the book of life. The people were judged by what they had done, which were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them. All these people were judged by what they had done, and death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death, and anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 21 Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared. Now there was no sea. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It was prepared like a bride dressed for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne. It said, Now God's home is with the people. He will live with them. They will be his people. God himself will be with them and will be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, sadness, crying, or pain. All the old ways are gone. The one who was sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this, because these words are true and can be trusted. The one on the throne said to me, It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give free water from the spring of the water of life to anyone who is thirsty. All those who win the victory will receive all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But those who are cowards, those who refuse to believe, those who do terrible things, those who kill, those who sin sexually, those who do evil magic, 
those who worship idols, and those who tell lies, they will all have a place in the lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. One of the seven angels came to me. This was one of the angels who had the seven bowls of the seven last plagues. The angel said, Come with me. I will show you the bride and the wife of the Lamb. The angel carried me away by the Spirit to a very large and high mountain. The angel showed me the holy city, Jerusalem. The city was coming down out of heaven from God. The city was shining with the glory of God. It was shining bright like a very expensive jewel, like a jasper. It was as clear as crystal. The city had a large, high wall with twelve gates. There were twelve angels at the gates. On each gate was written the name of one of the twelve tribes of Israel. There were three gates on the east three gates on the north, three gates on the south, and three gates on the west. The walls of the city were built on twelve foundation stones. On the stones were written the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The angel who talked with me had a measuring rod made of gold. The angel had this rod to measure the city, its gates, and its wall. The city was built in a square. Its length was equal to its width. The angel measured the city with the rod. The city was 12,000 stadia long, 12,000 stadia wide, and 12,000 stadia high. The angel also measured the wall. It was 144 cubits high. The angel was using the same measurement that people use. The wall was made of jasper. The city made of pure gold, as pure as glass. The foundation stones of the city walls had every kind of expensive jewels in them. The first foundation stone was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, forgive me if that's wrong, the fourth was emerald, the fifth was onyx, the sixth was carnelian, the seventh was yellow quartz, the eighth was beryl, the ninth was topaz, the tenth was chrysoprase, the eleventh was jacinth, and the twelfth was amethyst. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each gate was made from one pearl. The street of the city was made of pure gold, as clear as glass. I did not see a temple in the city. The Lord God All-Powerful and the Lamb were the city's temple. The city did not need the sun or the moon to shine on it. The glory of God gave the city light. The Lamb was the city's lamp. The peoples of the world will walk by the light given by the Lamb. The rulers of the earth will bring their glory into the city. The city's gates will never close on any day because there is no night there. The greatness and the honor of the nations will be brought into the city. Nothing unclean will ever enter the city. No one who does shameful things or tells lies will ever enter the city. Only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life will enter the city. Revelation 22 The angel showed me the river of the water of life, clear as crystal. The river flows from the throne of God and the Lamb. 
It flows down the middle of the street of the city. The tree of life is on each side of the river, and it produces fruit every month, twelve times a year. The leaves of the tree are for healing the nations. Nothing that God judges guilty will be there in that city. The throne of God and the Lamb will be in the city. God's servants will worship Him. They will see His face. God's name will be written on their foreheads. There will never be night again. People will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun. The Lord God will give them light, and they will rule like kings forever and ever. Then the angel said to me, These words are true and can be trusted. The Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has sent his angel to show his servants what must happen soon. Listen, I am coming soon. Great blessings belong to the one who obeys the words of the prophecy in this book. I am John. I am the one who heard and saw these things. After I heard and saw them, I bowed down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed them to me. But the angel said to me, Don't worship me. I am a servant like you and your brothers, the prophets. I am a servant like those who obey the words in this book. You should worship God. Then the angel told me, Don't keep secret the words of prophecy in this book. The time is near for these things to happen. Let anyone who is doing wrong continue to do wrong. Let anyone who is unclean continue to be unclean. Let anyone who is doing right continue to do right. Let anyone who is holy continue to be holy. Listen, I am coming soon. I will bring rewards with me. I will repay everyone for what they have done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Great blessings belong to those who have washed their robes. They will have the right to eat the food from the tree of life. They can go through the gates into the city. Outside the city are all those who live like dogs those who do evil magic, those who sin sexually, those who murder, those who worship idols, and those who love to lie and pretend to be good. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to tell you these things for the churches. I am the descendant from the family of David. I am the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride say, Come. Everyone who hears this should also say, Come. All who are thirsty may come. They can have the water of life as a free gift if they want it. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy in this book if anyone adds anything to these, God will give that person the plagues written about in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of this book of prophecy, God will take away that person's share of the tree of life and of the holy city, which are written about in this book. Jesus is the one who says that all of this is true. Now he says, yes. I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all people. Amen. That concludes chapters 18 through 22.
and also completes the reading of the book of Revelation. Be proud of yourself for finishing listening to the book of Revelation, as I will remind you once again, God promised if you listen and do what it says, you will be blessed. As I wrap up here today, I encourage you to go to our website at msgofhope.com and on the podcast tab, you will find episode 32, where you can re-listen to this podcast and find the references for the scriptures we read together today so that you can study them for yourself and make any adjustments according to what God alone lays on your specific heart. The whole book of Revelation can be found on episodes 29 through 32. And as always, we thank you for listening to our podcast and for helping us to share the good news of Jesus Christ by liking and sharing with your friends. Now as I log off, I want to bless you with a prayer given to the sons of Aaron. Ready? Let's pray. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.